Today we're going to do a patina called Copper Patina 2. This patina gives you a copper finish on steel and iron. To prepare your metal, it's recommended to use common sanding tools or even steel wool to descale your part. But for large parts and for convenience, it's recommended to use a metal prep solution like Circling 400. On this piece, we're going to apply Circling 400 with a simple brush to descale and clean the steel. It's important to pay attention to any corners, edges, or hard to reach areas while brushing to ensure full cleaning of the surface. Once the part is cleaned, rinse thoroughly with water. For large parts, you can use spray bottles filled with water or even compressed air with a spray gun filled with water to take off the cleaner. Ensure no residue remains on the part prior to applying the patina. Now that the part is cleaned, go ahead and apply the patina with a common paintbrush. Just like the cleaning stage, make sure to get any corners, edges, and hard to reach areas. Brush the part for about 30 seconds to fully cover the part. After the part is fully covered, go ahead and rinse with water. For large parts, you can use spray bottles with water or compressed air with your spray gun filled with water to neutralize the part. Clear coats are used to seal and protect patinaed metal. For this part, we're going to use a flat exterior clear coat called Acrylac 1045. So at this point, the part is finished. An HVLP spray gun was used to apply the clear coat, but conventional spray guns can also be used. The part is UV protected and all set for exterior applications. For more information, check out surfandchemical.com.